Hello friends, how are you? I'm very happy to see you. Hello my friends and welcome back to Math Time. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Yes, we always begin our day with our 10 frame counting. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, oh, what happened? I didn't do that right. No? What am I supposed to do? Right. I have to go back to the other side. This is not right. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. Come back over here to the left. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, we made it. Thank you, friends, for reminding me how to use our 10 frame the proper way when we're counting. Today, we're going to continue to learn about growth patterns. And you know what? We are going to grow these patterns. We're going to see them get taller and taller and taller. I'm so excited. So first, we're going to read a story like we did yesterday. We're going to do the same book we did yesterday, right? Because I want you guys to remember what patterns can do. And patterns can do many different things, right? And it can grow many different ways. And then we're going to take out our fruit or whatever you have in your home and we're going to use those to help us with our lesson and then we're going to do our cubes we're going to make a growth pattern using cubes so i'm going to tell you a story and i'm telling you the story our pattern is going to grow and grow all right so let's go back and review our story from yesterday we're going to put on our observant eyes and our listening ears so that we can remember how to do patterns and what patterns can do and then you're going to take out your cube template. This is what you're going to need for today. Your cube template and some crayons. And we're going to see, hmm, how can we continue to make these cubes grow with our growth pattern? Okay, so get your cube template ready. All right, so this is our book for today, right? And this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And we know that our title is the big words. When you look on the front cover, we are always looking for the big words because the big words is the title, right? The title is Explore Simple Patterns. So you know that today we're going to be looking at different patterns. And we're going to be having fun with the patterns. And as Council told you, we're going to be using teamwork, right? So let's explore simple patterns. Hi there, my name is Pedro the Pattern Parrot. Right there, he said, hi. This is my friend, her name is Kit. That's her right there. She likes patterns too. Do you see any patterns? Patterns are all around us. So we learned that patterns can be stripes or dots or numbers or letters. It's anything that repeats itself over and over again. So if you look right here at her shirt, she has stripes and her stripes repeat themselves over and over again. Black, white, black, white, black, white. Patterns come in different colors, shapes, and sizes. Look at the pattern on the stairs. It uses three colors instead of two. So you see those diamonds right there? It's yellow, blue, green. Blue, yellow, blue, green. Blue, yellow, blue, green. It keeps repeating itself over and over and over and over. Look at Kit. She likes patterns so much that she finds ways to make them. Kit is doing a pattern right now. Her feet are going in, out, in, out, in, out, and in. So my friends, let's see if we can do that pattern with Kit. Are you ready? Take your hands and go in, out, in, out, in, what comes next? Right, in, what comes next? Out, what comes next? In, out. Good job, my friend. Here are more of my friends. They are making patterns at recess. Can you make patterns with your friends too? So looking at this picture of these friends right here, I see that they all have their mouth open. I think we could do a pattern with our mouths. 
You want to try? Let's see. Ready? Open, close. Open, close. Can you go faster? <laughs> that was silly. All right, my friends, let's keep going. Did you know that sounds can make patterns too? Listen to this frog. Croak, ribbit, croak, ribbit. Do you hear a pattern? What do you hear? Right, croak, ribbit, croak, ribbit. They are repeating themselves over and over and over again. Croak, ribbit, croak, ribbit, croak, ribbit. <laughs> Look at my friends here. They are playing with instruments. We can make sound patterns with instruments too. So my friends, Ms. Council is going to try to do a sound pattern with instruments. So I have my Araka here and I have my xylophone here. Ready? What comes next? Right, the xylophone. What comes next? Ready? Ready? What comes next? Wasn't that cool? See, you can make patterns with many different things. Now it's time to make our own pattern with cubes. Look at my cubes. Look at these cubes right here. Are they in a pattern yet? Right? No, right now they're just scattered all over the place. They're not in a pattern. What should I do first? So if we want to make a pattern, what do you think we should do first? Maybe we should sort them, right? So I have some cubes here and I'm going to... Take them, and they're right now looking just like the picture. They're scattered, right? And I'm going to sort them so it'll be easier for us to make our patterns. So I'm going to put all the yellow together and all the green together, right? Yes, we are working on AB patterns with two parts. We should sort our cubes by color first. We did that. What are the two color groups? Yes, green and yellow. We will work with a partner to create our AB patterns. The first friend will put down a cube. Then we will put down one of the other cubes. So as you can see right here is the green. So it's AB and just start with the green. You guys know how to do this. What comes next? Right, yellow. What comes next? Green. What comes next? Yellow. What comes next? Green, what comes next? Yellow, what's next? Green, and then you have red, yellow. So see, we made a pattern and it repeats itself. This is a simple pattern, but today we're gonna learn about growth patterns. And what's gonna happen is instead of doing one at a time, it's gonna get bigger and bigger. The numbers are gonna grow, you'll see. Look, we are making an AB pattern by taking turns with our color cubes. Do you think you can make a pattern? You already did, my friends. So that is going to help us for today. That gave us a little bit of review. Okay, so now that you have listened to our story about patterns again, now it's time to see if you guys can remember what we learned yesterday about growth patterns. Remember, growth patterns continue to grow and grow and grow, okay? So let's get working. So for today, my friends, you only need your cube template and some crayons. And as you can see, Miss Council has some colors up here. And you're going to need those colors to complete your cube template later. But you can always, if you need to, replace them with different colors that you have. And that's okay, all right? So here's my story. I'm going to tell you a story. And this story is going to help us to learn about growth patterns. As we go, our story is going to help the patterns to grow bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So, yesterday I was at home with my children and they said, Mom, can we go to the grocery store and buy some fruit? And I said, absolutely. So we went to the grocery store and every single one of us was able to pick two pieces of fruit, okay? I go first when we get to the cash register and I put two strawberries on the belt. Then my son comes along and he goes, wow, mom, you chose two strawberries. I chose two blueberries. And he puts his blueberries on the belt. 
Then my daughter comes and she goes, wow, mom, you chose two strawberries. And my brother, he chose two blueberries. Guess what? I'm going to choose two grapes. Then my mom comes along and she goes, she goes, oh my goodness, you guys have a lot of fruit there. Your mom chose two strawberries and your brother chose two blueberries and the sister chose two grapes. I'm going to choose two oranges. Friends, what do you notice about our pattern? Right. It got taller. It got bigger. It grew, right? And how many fruit did it grow by each time? I hope you said two. Each time we put two more fruit onto our pattern. So our pattern is growing by two. So now I want to see if you guys can go and use the cube template to grow your cube. So right here we have two red. Then we have two red and two yellow, right? And then it continues to grow. There's two red, two yellow, then two purple. What do you think is going to go here? You're going to start with two red, then right, two yellow, then two purple. And then you can put your next color, right? And then you're going to do the next one. So my friends, you guys did a wonderful job helping me with our growth patterns. And now it's time for us to explore with our 10 frame counting. The hat, a neck, and a big fat belly. My friends, what number is this? Right, the number five. So today, we're going to place five dots on our ten frame. Are you ready? Let's go. Five. We need to place five dots on our ten frame. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 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 no six, just five, right? Okay, my friends, good job. So as you can see, five dots fit on the 10 frame. So anytime you have a 10 frame, there's always five dots at the top and five at the bottom, all right? But right now we're only showing five. So there goes our five dots. You guys have been fabulous. I hope you have fun with me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.